And to finish my thought, I had the feeling when Chris used to play against Tracy Austin, uh, when Tracy was so successful against her when she was just 17 and 18 years old, and Chris, of course, was somewhat older than that, that Tracy didn't have the nerves that come with age, and that Chris feels that. And the same thing may be true today. I think that was absolutely true of her when she was playing against Tracy. I think she's gone past that. I think she's in another dimension now. <coughs> Two games to one Everett, first set. said that she was going to try to move Chris around and she sure is doing just that. The only thing is that Chris can come up with just one more shot than she can and ends up with a very decisive volley there. She beat Martine in the semi-final and then the Virginia Slims of Florida, Gabriela Sabatini beat her again that time in the semi-final. Shot. On the other hand, she has nothing to lose. Unbelievable shot from Chris. As you just uh, look how far out of position Chris is here, and she just hits that ball a ton. No way to get that at all. One in the first set. The match has been just a little closer, really, than the score indicates because Chris has won the important points but maybe she does all that. Take a look at that picture. Look at this. That's <laughs> <laughs> she was eight. I mean, isn't she adorable? That is Virginia that's, Wade, by the way, on the me. left. I guess when you have a 5-2 lead, you can afford to go for shots like that. It was a marvelously struck ball. And it was the first set point, and Everett won it. Six games to two. Second set, effort to serve. There were three serve breaks in the match. She loves playing. Somebody hits the ball as hard as this. It was Mary Jo who said Chris would give her rhythm, but Mary Jo is also giving her a ball that she likes to play against. Yeah, that's good, that'll give her another break. That's a great shot from Chris. Her game to get better. Game ever, she needs to now. Well, Chris, of all players, will give you that feeling of just pushing you into the ground, and you, you get very tired playing against Chris. And again, I think that's just because of the intensity of her concentration. She never gives you any breathing space at all. Play. She's hitting the ball awfully well. 153, compare that with 110 for Jimmy Connors, who is the winningest player in men's tennis in terms of total titles won. Game 
three games to love. Everett in the second set, she won the first 6-2. Uh, bottom left. Andy Mill, and uh, well, he's from up in mountains of Colorado. They will be married later this year, he and Chris. how intense Chris is today because she moaned at herself when she missed that you know, as if she feels that she's hitting the ball so well that she should be winning practically every point yeah. her personal decision that was something that she really wanted to do was to finish her school <laughs> all through the summer quite a lot of other tournaments but 16 a year we've said it before. she's in a lot of trouble today she Tennis coach would not give her an A for today's match, but boy, it has been an overwhelming experience for her. Chris Abbott in the driver's seat. It's five games to love now. In the second set, she won the first 6-2. We'll be back. The two have played each other. Semi-final of the Lipton. is just over one hour hour. opportunity for Mary Jo Fernandez who is from Miami to make her way to the final here she had a great tournament she really did played she beat Sabatini but she was no match for Chris ever today 6-2 and 6-1